Hey everybody, I about go to the range with my new Glock 43X. So before I go to the range, I want to go ahead and lubricate it real quick. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so I'm going to try to make this video quick as possible. The first thing also you need to do is make sure that the weapon is clear. No magazine in. No round and chamber. And then you're going to do the basic breakdown. So you point it in the safe direction. Pull the trigger. And you see right here there's a lever right there and right here. So all you do is this. Bring this back a little bit, push both of those down, and it comes apart. Then to continue to break down, you got the spring right here, you pull it out, and then you go ahead, it's hard to do this with the camera in the way, you're going to go ahead and pull out the bolt. And we're going to go ahead and set these to the side. First thing we're going to do is the bolt, the barrel, and I'm just going to take this, put a drop right there, and a drop in the lugs, and then just spread it around. Take my little brush, Oop. go ahead, get those good. Go ahead and make sure it's all lubricated. You really don't need to use a lot for glots at all. And then if you're going to do long-term storage with a glot, like just keep in a hoister and all that stuff and not going to go for a range for a while, it's good to put lube in the barrel. And I mean, I'm going to the range so for the first time with this one, so I don't really need to do it. But... To show you how we do it later, is just put a couple of drops on the pad. Let's put that through the barrel. Get all lubricated inside. And I see some glistening in there, so it worked. And that's all you need to do for the barrel. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side and I'm going to grab the upper receiver. So since it's new, I'm not sure you can see it there, but you can see some like copper color and stuff. That's just packing grease. When you get a new Glock, you don't need to worry about cleaning that out and all that stuff and everything um, because it's just going to get broken down over time while you shoot it probably within like 50 or 100 so you don't need to really work out and get all that stuff out so we're going to focus on the rails I like to go ahead and put one one drop right there take my brush spread it on down To the other side, put one drop in there, and do the same thing, spread it on down. And then I like to put some, because the barrel rides up and down right here, so I just like to put, like, you know, just one drop in there, spread it all about, to be a good... Get rid of some of the assets. And that would be it. And then send the barrel rise in there. Do the same thing right there. That's it for that part. And then we're going to put one drop in the action. And you see this little lever right here. I'll go ahead and take this. One drop in there. 
and then I go into the range so it's not a big deal but I like to do if I'm oaring it and going put in the hoister for a while and not go range for a while I like to go ahead and move this around kind of work it in a little bit and that is it and that's all you need to do to lubricate for the Glock and then I'm going to put it back together grab your upper Go ahead and take your barrel, slide it in like so, take your spring, and the upper slot up there. Go ahead and get it in place. And then you got the guy rods right there. And then for here, you got them right here. So all you need to do is just slide them up. A couple of little rats. Then you do a function tap. Go in safe direction. Pull the trigger. Right back. And that's all you need to do. That's a quick disassemble for fuel strip, oil, and reassemble. That's all you need to do. Well, I got to go ahead and pack up my stuff and everything and start heading to the gun range. And we'll see you at the range. Exterminate!